Hi guys, it's Gareth here, aka Rookie, and welcome to my free DV vlog. Well, hey! So, I'm going to start off with this because this is going to be the thing. Um, ignore the mess behind me, this is going to explain why. Um, basically, um, next week I am following, well, start off tomorrow, I am following Alter Sky on their UK tour, which means I am going to, I'll take the glass off because you can see the reflection. Um, basically, so I can basically travel around the country following them, or stalking, as some people have been saying. Um, but yeah, so that means I'm going to have to uh, basically pack all my stuff, so that's why the mess behind me, because I've been packing, trying to get stuff done all this week. Um, it's going to be great because I get basically, I'm not also do I get to see them play some great music, which they always do and always have a great show. I'm also going to meet a lot of the Apple Corps, uh, which is basically the hardcore fans and street team of all this guy. Some a lot of people I've been talking to through the fan page and Twitter and things like that. I'm actually going to get meet them. I'm a little bit anxious about that. My anxiety is get flaring up a little bit about that, but I should hopefully be okay. I need to do stuff like this just to scare me. I've got to do it, like you know. So yeah. I'm um, also if you follow me on Twitter, you would have seen that I've tweeted out about bands that I like to put. I I need to say play. I need to see play live. That I've not already seen. So this list of bands, I'm going to list them off. Um, there's New Year's Day. We unfortunately played yesterday. I really missed them, but I couldn't afford it because of this. All these November dates I'm going to, which I tweeted out as well. I have a look at my tweets for that. Um, uh, Stitched up heart. The uh, hype theory forever still. Someday I Eva plays dead. Sally Pepper, who I'm going to see in November. Tonight alive, who I'm going to see in November. We are the in crowd, who I'm going to see in February. Um, Paramore, Fall Out Boy, Bring Me the Horizon, Panic the Disco, Blink One Eight Two, Lincoln Park. I went and looked at Lincoln Park. I could have seen them instead of seeing Tonight Alive. Their tickets are like 150 quid. I don't know whether they could have left it so late, but 150 quid. 150 quid! Oh my god, I am not playing 150 quid for a gig ticket. Uh, Farewell My Love, Falling Reverse, White Clothes and Gunfire, which I missed on their end of October tour because the dates didn't work with all the other dates all the dates in November with money and stuff like that. If they had been playing near me on a weekend day, I would have gone quite after going to see them, but they're on the list to go and see Curses and Mickey Monsters, who keep coming to Southampton when I'm in bloody Glasgow at a gig. I need to announce their dates a little bit sooner for me, because it makes things work a lot better for me. Really would, really would. So, um, yeah, so all the bands I want to see. Um, because I'm not going to be here, I'll be making videos next week. Basically, I've recorded a lot. I've uploaded them all last night, so there's videos there, all ready to go. Was it um, most of them prison architect videos? Um, which I'm having real fun playing now. <laughs> now we should be watching that series. I'm having fun playing it. It's good. I enjoy it. Um, it's kind of a, a, best way to describe. It's probably like a roller coaster tycoon, but in a prison, but not like that because it's quite better. It's really good. I do enjoy it. Really, really good game. Still an alpha apparently. Um, I'd say it's more like a beta than alpha now, but hey, that's my opinion. Um, I'm also, next week, I'm going to try to do my hotel videos, because I know you guys like them, but they're going to be additional videos to my audience, because I can't rely on how good my internet's going to be. So also my tweeting and Facebook's going to be kind of slow. I don't know, don't know what's going to happen there. But yeah, I will also be recording the tour that I'm going on, and then I will upload that tour. Was it um, it probably in four parts, um, I'm thinking, at the moment? And you guys got to see that. Um, those of you who've been watching my gig trip videos, you may have noticed the last couple of gigs we've been to, I've been playing around with the format to see um, what works better and what doesn't. And I know some things that I've done, I think, oh, yeah, that's really good. And then once I've actually uploaded the video and looked at it, it's like, nah, that's not that good. So that I'm going to sort out. And hopefully that'll, ch that'll change. I know exactly what I'm going to be doing now. I know the format I'm going to go with. Um, yeah, so you should get should get that. Um, I'm still going to do my Friday vlog. I think this Friday uh, coming up, not the one obviously now I'm recording now. The next one will be in I'll be in Wrexham, so that'll be an experience. Hopefully, I'll have internet there and record it. I actually be here in my own house the in that morning, so I may just record it sat here and then leave after I finish after it's uploaded. I don't know yet. We'll we'll find out. Um, I make that decision on the day. Should, should I say? Uh, I'm also, I'm going to be doing uh, Movember, so this beard that I've been growing, which I really love for the last, like, three, four months, July, and then, so I ended like August, September, October, so yeah, for the last three months, well, nearly four, because it's the start of August, so for nearly four months, yeah, I'm not going to shave off first thing tomorrow, and then grow a moustache for November to raise, um, health concerns, guys, it's, uh, it's a really good charity, you should check out Movember, just type it into Google, you'll find the, all the links and everything like that. I'm too lazy to put them in there because I've got so much to do. So sorry. 
So yeah, um, going on to my week. Um, the office I work in, um, there are some people that use excuses. Um, the one that I hate the most is the dyslexic excuse. I've got dyslexia and I don't use that as an excuse. It really, really does annoy me the way that some people use it as an excuse. Because then it just makes it seem like dyslexia is a bad thing. It isn't a bad thing. Dyslexia is an amazing thing because the way your brain works when you've got dyslexia. Um, so that's really annoying me. And um, those of you who don't know what dyslexia is, basically, it's the brain is slightly different than a normal human being's. Basically, um, you. <laughs> really basically, right? If, you, if you're right handed, yeah, then your left side of your brain control, control is in control. But if you're left handed, then the right half of your brain controls it. And there are certain parts of your brain which are in, in charge of controlling um, word recognition. But in a dyslexic brain, there is no dominant hemisphere of the brain. So both sides, because basically when you're right-handed, the left-handed hemisphere is actually larger than the right slightly. But in the dyslexia, in both sides are enlarged. Yeah? So therefore, there is no dominant side. And because there's no dominant side, no there's no dominant control, there can be a bit of miscommunication or, you know, because both sides are trying to do the same thing at the same time. And that's why dyslexia are more visual place because apparently the visual cortex of the brain, the visual cortex or the visual memory part of the brain works a lot better than the um, than the word recognition bit because you see there's been scanners done they show them basically there are spots or here where your um, word memorization is but then your uh, image recognition is somewhere I think here in the front just just near the short term memory um, and basically it's like that that bit's developed very quickly that's why a lot of dyslexics are artistic uh, are very good at sports games because they can see things with that vision to see things what are happening in, in a sport and they're very was it um, very good at problem solving because they can visualize it quite easily I got on a rant about dyslexia and didn't, didn't mean to do that. But yeah, so I hate it when people talk about um, dyslexia being a, a, um, an excuse. It's not an excuse, guys. Yeah, yeah. On to that, since we're talking about work, um, I had an email today, well, not today, but earlier this week, and basically it right pissed me off. Um, basically, because the email, if you read it, it basically means my job is obsolete to the company. Yeah. It's not good. So um, it's not though. It's not. Can, let me just say that it's not. That my job is not obsolete. My job is fine. But I may start looking for a new, new job because if that email, even if fifty percent of that email is true, then there's no point being the, at the company where I am. I'm just going to get bored out of my mother heaven mind being there. So yeah, I may have to look for another work. So even though that pissed me off and I was in a right bad mood, um, I still did overtime this week, which is. Pff, yeah, well, it was just stupid. Um, I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have done it, but the work needed to get done, and so I did it. Um, which then, obviously, because I was pissed off when I get home, I was having a few drinks. And those of you who follow me on Instagram and that, um, sorry for the drunken selfies. Um, me acting like an idiot. Um, but yeah, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be okay because next week I go and see music, and music is all I got. Um, also, while I was talking about work, um, there was a meeting that I was meant to be in this week, um, and basically I had to keep, I walked past the meeting a couple, room a couple of times trying to build up the courage to go in, because the meeting started before I got there, which I hate, and it, like, I was panicking about walking in whilst the meeting was going, eventually I, I did join the meeting, but it's like, uh, uh. so yes, that wasn't, I uh, shouldn't really done that, it was really annoying, um, and news on my PC, um, yeah, um, I should have the last parts delivered. Well, they weren't really delivered to today, but I wasn't actually home. So um, I should, by next weekend, have all the parts, and I should be able to build... Oh, I won't be here. Um, so I'll have all the parts by next week. <laughs> and so by the weekend after, I should have built it, and it should be complete. And I'll do, I might do a little introduction video to my computer. So here you go, here's my new PC. I don't know yet, but yeah, I will have my gaming PC. And I got this screen here, and I bought another one which is down there, which is going to go just here. So I'll have my two screens, and it'll be all gravy, as I say. I can't wait for that. I can't wait. Anyway, guys, um, I've been prattling on for nearly 10 minutes, um, and I haven't even had a run about dyslexia, so I think I'm just going to leave it there. But um, 
I'm going to be waiting gigs, so uh, do apologize if I don't reply to any messages when I do. But uh, as always, guys, have fun. <laughs>